what's up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Tiqua if you are new here welcome and if you aren't welcome back here on my channel I share things such as my faith my family my career my life pretty much my travels and just everything containing my life also that you all are encouraged to see that with a little bit of faith and with the big God nothing is impossible so as you guys know my husband and I are in our house hunting journey um, in hopes of finding a decent home that we could live in now I'm gonna be honest with you the two places that we went to that we've seen so far we clearly know they are not obtainable at this current moment the first place first of all wasn't even worth worth it if we had it you know six hundred thousand dollars for two bedroom homes not realistic um, and then the second place that we went to while we loved one of the models we also realized that considering the fact that a 20% deposit would be needed before even moving in before any type of financing we kind of knew that was outside of our budget as well something that we could strive for in the future but not something that we could obtain in this current moment so I will be honest to say that we've learned a lot through our house hunting journey so far um, first let me say that we did choose Long Island because we currently live in Brooklyn and I am from Long Island I love living in Long Island I love um, just kind of being in the suburbs away from the noise um, I like the fact that Long Island is only about an hour away from Manhattan and you know um, New York City from Brooklyn from Queens so you can always jump in your car or on the Long Island Railroad and head into the city which is pretty neat I like the idea of living on Long Island plus my husband desired to live on Long Island so we chose to do Long Island um, we were not crazy about the specific town that we would be in even though we realized that some towns are quite pricey and when I say quite pricey I'm not just talking about the price of the homes but also you have to think about the taxes taxes is a huge thing that you have to consider when you are looking for a home especially on Long Island because taxes are crazy um, but so what I want to say is that there were a few things that we learned from our house hunting journey so far one of the things that we learned is what we really want you know what do we really desire and what do we really see ourselves needing in this present moment um, most of the places that we went to had two bedrooms and we kind of just realized instantly two bedrooms will not serve us um, I wanted um, I want an office uh, my husband is a musician so he needs a place he needs a room or a spot somewhere where he can kind of have his keyboards and rehearse and things like that so two bedroom wasn't gonna work and we do plan to have a family so we have to be mindful that wherever we search and wherever we go in the next hopefully year two or three we'll have a kid so we need a spot for them as well so two bedrooms just wasn't gonna work uh here in brooklyn we have a one, we have one bathroom and we know we desire more than one bathroom so i can say that just by doing our search so far we kind of can narrow down what our true needs are so i will say that we realized that we want to have definitely three bedrooms possibly four uh we want to have at least two bathrooms um I desire to have a nice living room, um, possibly a uh, dining room, um, and then also we want a place that has a lot of closet space where we can store our clothes or just the things that we have. So we've narrowed down what our uh, actual needs are um, just by going through this search so far. So I'll also say that the first two places that we went to, I searched them up. The first place I drove past a few times, so I desired to look at. And then the second place I actually went online and I saw that it was a new development, a new condo development. And so I said, you know what, let me take a look there. But I'll be honest that um, once we looked at those two places, we realized that we need to decide. Those places were more condos, condo communities and perhaps we needed to take a look at single family homes um it wasn't my heart's desire but i said you know what it, it can't hurt 
plus I did get a realtor so we are working with the realtor now and I do want to show you guys the first place that the realtor did send us to um, I ended up bringing my mother-in-law mother-in-law along with me and we went and we took a look at this home this home that we took a look at was about three hundred and twenty five thousand um, dollars it was vacant um, the owners were elderly and their children were putting the home on the market and um i'm just gonna let you guys see so that's one bedroom nice size oh and nice size closet okay decent size they got two beds in here oh Okay. And then two bedrooms here. Like you said, everything needs to be updated. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's all, okay. Yeah, it's all, both. Oh. 325. It's for, and another bedroom. Decent closet area, closet space. Okay, and I'm assuming down here covers the length of the um, top, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's space down here. Yeah, there's space. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I like the downstairs better than the upstairs. <laughs> I'm like, this could be a massive bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the electrical service that means you gotta change that box. The yeah, um, half of it doesn't work. A little backyard. That wraps around the half on the other side a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely has the land to, um, it has the possibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean it. It does. Yeah. Like I can see Woody out here now. <laughs> I can see him out here now working in this garage. You have to come and get him out of here. Yeah. You know that's the thing. It's like okay. And get your opinion of the house. <coughs> what you think? Well, I think it's it's doable. It's doable. It's just that it, like like the lady says, a lot of work required. But um, it has what y'all need, what y'all want, rather, and need. It's a combination. Um, because even though it said it had three bedrooms, oh, that's my mom. So now that you guys have seen that home, um, you'll you'll know that my mom ended up calling me because I wanted her to join us along um, to take a look at the house and to see what she thought. And upon face value, we were like, "Wow!" My mother-in-law and I were like, "Wow, this you know this home has a lot of space." And needed some upgrades but you know it was a ranch style home and considering that the basement was the full length of the footprint of the house we were like it just was so much that we could do um during our tour the guy did mention to us that there was something wrong with the boiler so it needed a new boiler and that there was something wrong with the electrical panel so the entire electrical panel and i'm assuming that means wiring of the whole house needed to be upgraded um, but just when my mom came and she walked around the house and then I mentioned those few things that the realtor um, mentioned to us my mom was like nope not a good buy she my mom was saying that there seemed to be cracks in the foundation that all of the windows needed to be replaced and then when you think of the cost of repairing windows having a new boiler um, having to do the electrical over in the whole house it just was not worth the price even though 
it looked upon face value you know from someone who doesn't really know what to look for it looked like a good buy so that didn't work out for us uh, we did give looking at a single family home a shot but i did tell the realtor i said you know we kind of we desire the condo community live in we desire um being able just to not worry about having to do some of the things like sh shoveling snow or doing yard work or things like that so i did have um once i mentioned that to our realtor she did send us to a condo community that was a little bit more affordable um it was built i believe in like maybe the 1970s Now, I wasn't able to get good images of the kitchen or the dining room or even the living room. So I'm going to put in some photos here so you guys can see what we were working with. Okay, so similar layout. Similar layout. Okay. Yeah, upstairs? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so you're half bath, right? Then you come upstairs. Mm -hmm. They have some solar tubes here, so you can tell there's no light on, but you're getting a lot of natural light. Oh, nice. So even if this was or wasn't your spot, that might be a good one. So, uh, right. <laughs> this mm. is your whole bath. Yeah. Again, it has the solar tube, so you don't even need light. Okay. Yeah, this bathroom is bigger, I believe, than that one. Okay. Okay. And then the two Linen bedrooms. closet and then the two bedrooms, yeah. I just want to see what the closet space looks like. Oh, it's actually a decent, decent amount of space. Yeah, there is. And then there's two walk-ins in this master, or in this primary. Yeah. This is a good space. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's a good size. And who, who lives here is re they're really into, um, I see the crystals and right, stuff. Right, That's so yeah. cool. All right, so then this is the bedroom. Right, so then you do have the two large walk-ins, wow. which are nice. Yeah. But no bathroom in here. Nope, just the one. Just the one in the just main the area. Okay. And this one is 320? 319, yeah, 319. Okay. Yeesh. Okay. So, what do you guys think of that spot? <laughs> I liked it. I liked the coziness of it. I love um, just how the home was put together. I love the layout of the home, but the home was a two bedroom. And again, from our experience at looking at these other homes, we did kind of come to the conclusion that a two bedroom would just be too small for us, that we would grow, outgrow a two bedroom who knows in a year or so um so while i love the condo community i love the condo living and i love the space that we went to go see we need a little bit more so so far we're still in the house hunting journey we're still taking a look at our options we have decided to look at a few single family homes even though our desire is to be in a condo um, we're just gonna have to wait it out and see um, you know what else is out there for us to take a look at and to see you guys keep us in your prayers I will be sure to keep you updated on how this uh, this whole thing pans out how it works out and fingers crossed we will find our dream home and matter of fact let me say this even if it's not our dream home if we can find a place that has the space that we want even if it's not updated even if it's a bit outdated we are willing to do renovations we are willing to upgrade it we are willing to um, make it our own we are willing to just um, you know jazz it up and spruce it up but really what we desire for our budget is the space so our budget we need more space um, and um, maybe I'll share in another video we were approved for 400,000 but you will learn as you go through this process that just because you're approved for a certain amount does not mean that you want to look for homes that amount you want to kind of go a little bit lesser um, or lower than what you were actually you know technically um, approved for on the paper I can share that in a whole nother video 
<laughs> about lessons I learned through this whole process. If you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. And again, keep us in your prayers. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on how this whole journey is going. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down um, in the comment box below. I wanna thank everyone so far that has reached out to me, that has given me um, some help and some, some, some suggestions. And I just love the idea that um, we can, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. And if there's any suggestions or any help that you have or that you know of, please, I am, I'm open, I'm open to it. <laughs> Leave them down in the comment box below. Until next video, I love all of you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this video and also tuning into our journey on our road to home ownership. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.